So looking back at our references, now we know we have the Byte Scout barcode, the Byte Scout barcode WPF, and Microsoft Office Interop Word. So now that everything is set up, let's close this little console window. We're going to go over here to our namespaces and we're going to add in the Byte Scout namespace. So we'll type in XMLNS, we'll call it uh, Byte Scout equals CLR namespace. And as we start to type in Byte Scout, we should see it here. We want the Byte Scout barcode WPF namespace. So now that we have that, uh, if you downloaded the project, we can come down here to the bottom and we can uncomment this. And as you see above, now we have our Byte Scout control. So it's pretty much plug and play at this point. Since that's the case, we want to go over here to our Solution Explorer and select our barcode view model here. We want to open that up and now we can take a look here at implementing it. Now, first thing we want to do is the barcode control has a property called value. So we want to bind to this value. It'll accept a string. So we're going to create a private string value here. And of course, as we do in all the other videos, we want to create a publicly accessible property of value. And we'll simply return our private value field and we'll go to set and we are also going to set this dot value. Now you want to use the this key because it'll have an issue with us using value here. Now, of course, as well as other videos, we want to add in what I said I already created in the project, the observable object. We're going to access its on property changed and simply call our value property. Now, another thing we're going to have to add is what is called a symbology type. Now, this is the type of barcode that will be used in the control. In this case, we're going to use code 128. So we're going to type in private symbology type and of course if we have it as a reference we simply hit control period and we should see that we can add in the using byte scout dot barcode and we'll simply call this symbology we also want to create a public property here so symbology and get and return our symbology so basically guys right now we're just setting up a view model for the barcode symbology all right so now that we added in our symbology we also want to basically just give it some default values for now just so we can actually see what's going on so we want to by default we'll just make the value one two three four five and we'll give it a symbology equal to symbology type code 128 